Hello my friends and welcome back, it's episode 84. Just returned from the bathroom. Um, the US is out of the war. They are, they're gone. They are GG'd. Now the real question is what happens next? Obviously the British will fight on. But they are not far away. Also, do th does that mean I gain control of the US? What's to stop units in, say, Canada from just walking down and liberating? I do not know. But we can worry about that later. For now, I think it is time. To bomb a very British HQ. Looks like the fighters are all set. Okay. Look at the units on offer here. This is like a tiny piece of what they used to have. If the Russians are like just losing the plot now. Their damage that they're taking is reflecting reflective of like how shattered their morale is. like, you know, this is uh, extremely abusive levels of damage here. I mean, their morale is down to 36%. That's really low. And when the US resigns, there may be a cascade, basically, of uh, morale loss.
igniters. Lucky. That guy's been waiting for a level 5 for a long time. There was just too much fight going on. I noticed that there's very little bombing going on out of the Russians, and that might potentially be because they are, um, they're broke. They can't afford to do bombing. Damn, that was uh That is what we call in the industry the big yikes. Oh he shattered so we get damage back. Yeah, this is like an unassailable position now. Perfect supply. Perfect wall. And there's no need for me to push forward at this time. The Russians can wait. strike teams to start getting ready. I don't think India will go down easy though. But we'll see. the artillery. With all these US planes gone, the math changes, shall we say. With all this US nonsense gone, things are going to change a lot. Right, we're going to carry on playing. I'm going to end the turn since the uh, previous episode was uh, caught short in more ways than one. It's time to see what happens to the UK morale. UK morale may... I mean, depending on how badly it's damaged by the loss of the US and the loss of Malta, the UK might also drop out. Leaving just a very sad Russia. to really think about what I'm going to buy, where I'm going to put stuff. Alright, let's go. Oh, that was a pretty big chunk.
That was a pretty big chunk of morale that the UK just lost. Goodbye, US. Wait, what? Why is the US? Why are the US still making moves? They're dead. <laughs> and they're still healing stuff. Unless they surrender on the start of my turn. I was not expecting anything for them to do anything. some hurt here. Unless the game is bugged. Which would be sad. surrender at the start of my turn. Ow! Crits both ways. Looks like. That's what you get from running into the ground. Wow, he ran away. Why did he run away? He didn't take any damage. Eckless coward! It's too late, US. It's, t it's time for you to surrender. Man, look at the amount of Russian units. There's almost nothing left. This is like, there's almost nothing left. to rebuild my precious tank that got killed. The US had better surrender. Like, I'm not... I... I... Uh, 
I cannot be bothered to carry on playing the game if it doesn't even follow the rules. They're at zero morale. They're gone. They should be gone. But they may go at the start of my turn. I don't want there to be some kind of weird edge case where they get just barely enough morale to carry on going. You have to, like, somehow smash them really low. The USA withdraws from the war! <laughs> All these events are going off! Armies of Germany. They're gone. The US withdraws from the war. But I do not get their territory. I don't get any loot. I don't get any anything. withdraws from the war but I still need to take all this stuff back wow the UK lost like 5,000 I think from Malta down to 10%
Um. Time to start hitting. The Russians. Got to load up these teams and transports and start taking this stuff back. gonna take some time load these guys up in uh, long-range assault transports and hit here get these uh, HQs these a level four tank I could probably do with a bit more than a core there Okay, well, they've withdrawn from the war. shell available. One for one and one for one. Do I do it or do I just wait for the actual uh, artillery? Let's wait for the artillery. Off you go, boys. Italian horde will attack Tehran from behind. Did 
don't know what else to do with Italy. Because we can buy bombers. Time to uh, stage a little invasion. Taking London might be really easy <laughs> if there's no one defending it. Like snapping a toothpick. You know what's funny? Yeah, it's an Italian unit, but Italy has level 3 amphibious landing. Well, then maybe I can just kill the guy in London and put the Italian unit in London. And if that, if the loss of their capital costs them 10,000 morale, they're done. I don't know what the cost is, but I'm just saying that there is a possibility. That tank will do the job as well. I just need some junk. Actually, I just need some units. Any units will do. Man, he's still gonna get four? Jane dies today. Ooh. I could get his HQ. Huge victory. He ran away. I 
hoping to waste his rockets, not take it, take damage. It's not worth it. evens out. That should enhance your resolve. Anti tank guns, man. They know how to make a man bleed. Okay. The Russian front is looking. The thinnest it's ever looked. But what I really need is actually units to uh, push the UK out of the war with. They're down to 9%. So I think the fall is coming. I know I said I was going to just build armies, but literally any units would do. Just to get a foothold in the UK, now that it's not infested with US units. If the uh, UK leaves the war, then that just leaves Russia. Wow, and India, I suppose. Now, India might res might leave with them. I don't know how that works, actually. If the UK leaving also causes... India to leave. It'll be very interesting to see if that's the case. But yeah, I reckon I can just bomb this garrison to death and then move the Italians into London. And I don't know how much morale damage the capture of London will do. You would think it would be a lot, though. I'm a little bit annoyed that I didn't get any money for taking the US out of the war.
this tank is actually a really big deal. It sat there all war doing nothing. Which I guess I should be thankful for, but now it will be a problem when I... When my inevitable betrayal comes. Okay, I guess that's it for now. I can't think of anything else that I should be doing. London has four supply at the moment. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.